One of the first things you'll need is a pencil. You can use any old pencil, a, a number two or a, um, an HB pencil. It could be a mechanical pencil. But what I really recommend are using pencils of multiple um, softnesses. So for example, a 2H pencil, a 2B pencil would be a great place to start. You can add in a 6B. And the way that pencils work, if HB is the center point, um, anything lower than HB would be like 2H, 3H, 4H, 5H. The H, think of that as hard. It hardly makes a mark. So it gets softer as it gets away from the HB. Now, if the HB is the center again, and we go above the HB, which might be B, 2B, 3B, 4B, think of the B as being bold. It makes a bold, dark mark. And it gets darker as it gets farther away from the HB. So 2B would be darker than HB. 6B would be darker than 2B. If I have these different hards and softs, I can make soft marks, very light lines for my initial drawing with the 2H, and then refine the drawing with the 2B. The 6B could make even darker marks where I'm correcting areas, but also can help me make transfer paper. In addition, you could use an eraser and a sharpener to help you with the pencils if you have regular pencils. I like a kneadable eraser so I can make it into any shape I want. And this uh, pencil sharpener has two uh, holes in it, but not for a thicker and a thinner pencil. This one instead gives me a two point uh, sharpen where it sharpens the wood first and then sharpens the graphite itself. So you don't have to go that way. You can just go with any old sharpener. Colored pencil. I like to use a colored pencil when transferring that completed drawing to my final um, output, whether it be paper or canvas. Masking tape comes in handy. This is just a black pH neutral masking tape, but any masking tape will work or even just regular clear tape. A sketchbook is an essential for a studio. You want to have a good sketchbook that you can create your initial drawings in, but also potentially complete some drawings and paintings in. This is the Super B Deluxe. Um, it's a heavyweight drawing paper. I can create an acrylic painting. I can do a gouache painting. And this sketchbook comes with me when I travel so that I can paint on the road and it just fits into my backpack easily. As an option, you can bring some tracing paper into this project. It's helpful when you've finished with your shapes because you can lay it over top of the shapes and then refine the drawing itself. And then that drawing on the tracing paper can be used to transfer to your final um, destination, whether it be paper or canvas. And another tool that is totally optional, we can create this and I'll show you how, is some sort of transfer paper. This is a carbon transfer paper that you can buy the dark side of the paper is the part that actually transfers. So you would put that part downwards. The lighter part is the part that goes directly underneath your drawing. And I'll demonstrate that later. Another important thing to have is a good resource photo. For example, there's this photo of a gecko I took in Hawaii or a still life I set up and took a photo of in my studio. I always make sure I have a good light source with a shadow that's showing and um, some sort of really interesting thing going on, whether it be the gecko himself or a little bit of a added of a flower and leaves around the tea, just to kind of create some fun things to paint myself, but also create some interest in the painting. Now it's time for you to put this into action. Give it a try. Grab a resource photo or set something up and really look for the shapes. See if it works for you and let me know what you think. Good luck.